And here's the storm timeline, and I have to say, overall, this is a weak storm. We do have some icy chances. I don't believe it happens in Syracuse because the time that reaches us late morning or midday will be above freezing. And we will get some light rain and rain showers. Again, not a big concern. It's not going to be heavy, mostly light and broken up right on into the evening. Then as the temperature falls after we make it to the lower 40s in many areas this afternoon, we will change back over to a brief period of snow showers and then some light lake effects snow showers and flurries late tonight through tomorrow morning. Boy, if we get an inch out of that, I'd be uh, surprised. Not going to be very impressive as well. But still, it's important if you're down to the south that you use caution this morning. We've got a very light freezing rain, but steady now in Watkins Glen, Schuyler County, Tompkins County, around Ithaca, Cortland County, and Shenango County. This will put a glaze on roadways if untreated with chemicals. I'm sure the DPWs have been trying to get their chemicals and prepared for this in advance. We will find the temperatures warming above freezing, actually, first to the south and then up in the heart of central New York around Syracuse. So there'll be several hours with this light glazing, especially on elevated surfaces, parking lots, and side streets. Then we will eventually warm up. We get a period of rain showers here in central New York. So there's the current scene in central New York with live triple Doppler radar brought to us by Fossil Service Experts. We're at 25. It's 46 in New York, 52 in Charleston. On the other side of this front that's moving back to the north, it's a lot milder. We should get to at least 40 in Syracuse, if not maybe 41 or 42. A little bit warmer to the south, colder to the north. The freezing rain situation is going to last a lot of the day in the far north country, northern Jefferson County, up near the Canadian border, St. Lawrence County. So here's what you need to know. For today, icy spots this morning, close to 40 though this afternoon. A good chunk of the day will be dry. At times, some of those showers will change over to snow showers with a minor accumulation for tonight, and then flurries become spotty tomorrow. We'll get some sunny breaks, and it'll be breezy, slightly colder, but normal. So here we are at 10 o'clock. The rain showers, especially especially southeast of Syracuse. We will also get some scattered light showers in Syracuse, but steadier to our southeast and we all warm above freezing. The cold front comes in with rain showers in the evening, quickly changing over to some light snow showers, only a coating from that and snow showers southeast and east of the lake late night move to near Syracuse and quickly become scattered flurries towards midday, maybe an isolated flurry with a better chance for some sunny breaks later in the day. So your forecast today, 40 degrees, light freezing rain showers this morning, especially south and east. We'll get a period of showers, tapering during the afternoon for us. 25 for tonight, evening shower or two, some snow showers taper, maybe up to one inch of accumulation. Tomorrow, again, a trace to an inch in the morning. Snow showers and flurries become isolated and light. An early flurry on Tuesday, 34, and things looking a little bit better midweek. 42 degrees as we head into Valentine's Day. It's mainly dry. Rain showers in the mid-40s on Thursday. Here's this week's ski report. Brantling nine trails. That's an up from yesterday. Bristol has up to 60 inches of snow outdone by Greek Peak with 62 inches and in all 53 trails. So take your pick there. The most skiing and riding in central New York. They've also got the Fireman Games continuing that competition down there today. Labrador 23 trails. It is Winterfest in Macaulay. They've got 23 trails open. A uh, lot of terrain, a lot of fun activities, up to 48 inches of base. We're still looking at a machine machine groom pack powder ski surface all open at song Toggenberg 22 and Woods Valley all showing good deep bases which is good for the ski season.